I have a question I'd like to ask, and I think it may be the same friend, but I'm not certain, who told me that when I asked the question, what kind of firearms should I learn to use, or should I learn to use all the firearms that I have in the store, uh, so that I'm familiar with when we're selling them, and his answer to me, which I thought was the most sensible and respected, was that use bring the firearm that you intend to use, learn that gun. Don't worry about you learning to use five or six guns in the house. Which gun are you going to shoot? Which gun are you going to use to protect yourself? And that's the gun you should learn to use the most. Does that sound I, I fully agree. Um, I have a couple of, of uh, loaner guns that I take with me, so if, if someone is unfamiliar with the style or, or a type of weapon, then I can show them, you know, one of mine and see if it's more comfortable for them. You know, uh -huh. the last thing I want to see is for a small frame person to bring a huge gun out. Right. Um, not only is it impractical for concealed carry, but it, it might be too much gun for the person. Right. Now I think we should take a moment and ask Chris how he feels about. Right. Well, I like because Chris is also deals in firearm safety. He's been in the military for years. He's our firearms expert in the store. And he actually deals with the customers, you know, interacts with them, and instructs them on the premises about firearms. Say safety. hello, Chris. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to mention some uh, some basic safety and stuff for for the household and stuff. Just always uh, always treat every weapon as it's loaded, uh, never, and uh, always know where your muzzle, the end of that weapon, is at all times, because you never know when there's a round still in there in your rifle or handgun, uh, even though you've taken out the clip or the magnum, that, that round is still in there. A lot of accidental discharges in the household is because somebody didn't clear the weapon first.